Hey guys, Virtus Education here, and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Begin tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at uh, vertex painting inside of Unreal Engine 4. So, what this essentially is, it allows us to uh, paint more than one material onto a static mesh uh, inside of the editor. So, you can see that at the moment, um, I have this little rock uh, static mesh here, and if I wanted to, I could then go ahead and paint a second material material on top of this um, and then we can play around with different channels and a whole bunch of other stuff but vertex painting is brilliant really it allows you to just paint that uh, more than one material onto this object directly onto the vertices and um, it's really great for artists as you can add a bit of detail inside of the editor rather than uh, going out into like Photoshop to change the texture or whatever or it's even great for like trying to blend and ease the transition from like one area to another so for example if I had this little cave thing that I've got going on in the background here and then on the outside it's sand you know you don't want the whole material to be the um to be this dirty uh, cave material you might want it to be sand on the outside you know make it a little bit more realistic but anyway enough of that let's just go ahead and uh, make a start so first things first you're going to want to place a static mesh inside of your editor you can do that if you want to just go ahead um, find something that you want to play with so I'm just going to go and find this rock again and I'm going to chuck it uh, somewhere here. I'm just going to chuck this rock in right here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can actually work with um, our vertex painting uh, nice and easily. So now we've got the rock in here we're going to need to use a, uh, a material. Now the material for vertex painting is going to be set up similarly uh, like somewhat the same but you got to be you got to add a few extra little things which I'm going to be showing you. So I'm just going to open up my old material here real quick and we're just going to have a quick look. So we've got probably the most important node here which is the vertex color and that essentially tells the engine um, no, but it's basically your way of putting the information into the different channels. So as of right now, I've essentially got the the two different uh, textures going into the alpha channel, and then I can paint that alpha channel onto the object. And then we've just basically got that alert to pretty much put all the uh, all the information together. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and uh, create a brand new material. So I'm just going to right click anywhere in the content browser, go to material. And then I'm just going to name this Vertex uh, Tutorial 2. And then we're going to have to bring in a few things to start with. So first things first, we're going to need the two textures. Um, you can choose whatever you want, um, but I'm just basically going to go ahead and get the two same textures I used before. So I'm going to type in Sandstone, and I'm going to make sure I'm searching in all. And then I'm going to bring that in, and I'm going to do the same for Normal Map. And that's also really cool with vertex painting. You can also keep the normal maps for everything. Um, but I'm just going to move this down here for now. We're just going to focus on your diffuse. And then I'm also going to look for the cave wall uh, that I have as well, which is this one. I'm just going to click and drag that in as per usual. Just give it a second. It's running a little slow. And then I'm going to bring in the normal map for that as well. So these are our two... Uh, materials, uh, two textures that we have here. Now, if you was just creating a normal, um, a normal material, you might just go ahead and hook up the base color directly to this. Um, and I can show you exactly what the, uh, what's going to happen if you do that. So let me just go ahead and find my material wherever I just put this. I have a really bad memory, so if I chuck this onto the rock, it doesn't look too good. Um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and start making our all of our good setup now. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click and break the link because we don't want anything on there for now. And the first thing we want to do is use the multiply node. To get one of those you can just press hold down M and then click or you could right click and then press uh, type in multiply and find it that way. And in the base color we're going to uh, hook up the output of the multiply into the base color and then our our B is going to be going into a vert vertex color node. So let's go ahead and right click, type in vertex color, <clears throat> and put that in there. And we're going to hook up the RGB into the B of the multiply, just like this. And then we're also going to use a LERP mode. You can just hold down L 
and click to create one of those. And we're going to be hooking up the output of the LERP into the multiply. And let's just go ahead and move these over so it looks a little bit nicer. I'm actually going to make this a nice big window. And then in the LERP, we're essentially just going to hook up the, the uh, B and the A into these two different textures that we have here and then it's going to press apply and the alpha we're going to put into our vertex color now the alpha is essentially pretty much what comes out of the lerp and we're going to be chucking that into the vertex color ready for painting so that's pretty much it for um for, for actually having a vertex material we can go ahead and hook up a normal so pretty much all we got to do for the normal setup is pretty much duplicate it so I'm gonna right click I'm going to put in another multiply node and chuck that straight into normal and then we're gonna have a lerp once again uh, sorry what am I doing <laughs> alright so I'm gonna chuck my lerp in there and I'm also going to hook up my uh, my RGB of the vertex color into my ARB just like I showed you uh, previously over here and then we're also going to get our lerp and we're gonna get our two textures it's gonna move them over here we're gonna chuck this in here this in here this in here and then we're also going to chuck the alpha straight in just like this and you can see we've now got our normal map um, one thing I do want to mention if you're going to be working with different textures types so if you have diffuse and normal try and make sure that you've got the right textures in the right place especially for normal maps so you can see I've got my cave wall uh, material in my A just make sure it's also the A up here you can see that it isn't so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click this click this I'm gonna break links and then I'm gonna switch them around that way the materials don't come out all distorted because they've got the wrong uh, material the wrong normal maps so I'm gonna hook that up in there hook that up in there press apply and you can see it looks a whole lot better now so let's just go ahead and close this and we're gonna chuck this material onto our little rock again now to actually start vertex painting it is very very simple just go ahead and go over to the paint you can press shift 2 to get to this and if we wanted to uh, we can start painting if you want um, but if the, uh, painting is very simple you just shift uh, you just click and then press shift to do the opposite now if you remember in our little uh, material here you can see that I've chucked all the information into the alpha so if we go over to our channels uncheck red green blue just select alpha and then that's where we can actually start painting uh, so if I hold down shift click I can then start painting the sandstone material on top of this or to do the opposite just hold down click and it is honestly as simple as that and if I wanted to I could also paint color onto this but I'm not gonna go over that now if you want to do fine details uh, in terms of vertex painting you might want to play around with the radius of your brush very simple just turn that up down however you want to and then you've got your strength um, which is, I'm not even gonna describe you should know uh, that just changes how strong the effect is and then you got your fall off not gonna worry about that um, but yeah that's pretty much a basic introduction into vertex painting play around with it you can do colors uh, not really important for now uh, play around with it comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode goodbye